Hello, my friends, and welcome to the 10-Minute Book Talk, where three best-selling authors talk all things bookish with you for 10 short and sweet minutes. I'm Rachel Linden, and I'm joined today by my co-hosts, Marie Bostwick and Catherine Ray. And today we have such a fun surprise for you. We are talking with best-selling author Julie Cantrell. And I think you're New York Times and USA Today and all the best-selling author Julie oh, Cantrell. All the things. <laughs> all about her delightful book that I have been looking forward to for months and months and months because it is a picture book based on a true story and it is called Dog Saves Duck. And so Julie, <laughs> can you tell us a little bit about this book? Yes, thank y'all for welcoming me back. I love spending time with all three of you. Thank you so much. Um, yes, yeah, so Dog Save Duck has just been a fun little side passion project for us. I worked on it with my husband and um, it's about our dog, an uh, English cream golden retriever named Bo, Mr. Bojangles. And he found this little like one day old duckling at the, at the lake in our neighborhood during a torrential storm. It was freezing, ice storm was coming in. She had been abandoned by her family and she was near death and he would not leave the lake without her. He would not get in the truck and go home. And so (laughs) they brought her home. And from that moment on, the dog and the duck became inseparable. And it was just the sweetest bond that we've ever seen. We raised her in the house with our dog and our cat. We all just became a happy family. And so this story kind of captures their unlikely friendship. And we wanted to share it to emphasize, you know, kindness and love and compassion and all of that. Oh my God. (laughs) Oh my goodness. No, I was going to say, I just love that you did take this personal family tale and you are offering it. Now, I'm going to be honest, most people make a little scrapbook for themselves. (laughs) Right. (laughs) You made a book for everybody else. Well, you know, we ask what inspired you to make that leap? Because I love it. It's awesome. Yeah, that wasn't the plan. What happened is I had never even been on TikTok and it was during the pandemic and I shared a video of them on TikTok. First time I'd ever posted on TikTok. I still only have like five posts of there. Well, that post went crazy viral and it ended up being bought by People Magazine and John Tesh and all this crazy stuff. (laughs) And millions of people all around the world responded to this sweet little love story with dog and duck. And it makes people so happy during the pandemic. And I thought, you know, we have all these family photos. I mean, it's like our old family, but there they are swimming in the pool. And, you know, um, we, we just decided to, to do this. But I'm also, in my other life, I'm a speech language pathologist. And I worked for many years teaching children to read. I specialize in language and literacy. I volunteered as a member of our literacy council and started an after-school program for struggling readers in Mississippi. So this is my niche. And I love to build a love of reading in young children. So this book is specially designed for three to six-year-olds learning to read. It's geared for all those early learning concepts, you know, the size, the color, the softness, the ending consonants, dog, duck, you know, all of those things are in there um, with a sweet, relatable story that teaches power of kindness and friendship and love for people that are might be different than us. You know, it's all in that little tale that actually truly happens. So it's been fun to put it all together. Oh, <laughs> You know, I was one of the people, I mean, a lot of us were like pretty invested in dog and dog. <laughs> <laughs> we were. You know, yeah. I, listen, the only, like I have a love-hate relationship with the internet, but the internet has given us delightful mm. animal videos. Right now, <laughs> I am addicted apparently, and one comes up every day of videos of beavers trying to carry away too much food. I love this. I watch them over and over again. So because they're minor elephants and I put them on my right? I mean, because the world seems sad, but this beaver is trying to carry a pumpkin and you can't not admire the determination of this beaver to get a pumpkin that's way too big for him. Anyway, I'm sorry, but I digress. I love that. <laughs> my entire feed is otters because I watched an otter video with my daughter and now it's just otters. And honestly, I'm not sad about that. It's authors <laughs> no. and otters. That's otters. all that's on my feed, authors and otters. Oh, elephants. So we need this. We need dog and yeah. duck. We need dog and duck. So like beyond, you know, the fact that it is such a sweet and true story and it's so yeah. much better because it's true. Yeah. But yes, you've alluded to the fact you're an educator, um, but unpack some of those 
you know, deeper themes you talked about a little bit, but like, what is some of that, those, those themes and that emotional intelligence you're hoping to try and, and yeah. build and maybe like, how can parents discuss that with the kiddos when they're reading Dog Saves Duck? Yeah, I think it's so important to use story, the power of story, you know, story is an entry into conversation and bonding with your children and, and, and giving teachers and librarians, you know, entryway into deeper concepts, right? So on top of all those early learning concepts, like I said, size, shape, sounds, phonemic awareness, all those things, that the idea of what a book is and what a story is, it's really, it's almost like an interpretation of the Good Samaritan in a way, like anybody could have passed up that duck in need, right? Mm -hmm. figured it was gone, it was too far gone, it, nothing could be done, or it wasn't my problem. But this dog had a big enough heart to say, come home with me, there's room at my table. I'm going to love you, and I'm going to take care of you, and I'm going to keep you safe. And, and that just was such a beautiful message to me that we can help anybody, any living soul in this world that's in need, even, no matter what our limitations are, we can find a way to save that soul bring it home, care for it, love it, give it, you know, help it sustain itself to become its best self. And in the end, Dot, you know, grows up, gets big and healthy. We bring her back to the lake. She's accepted with the other ducks. Dog, our dog Bo still goes every day, you know, for months to visit her and swim with her and play with her. She'd come flying every time she heard it's coming and we would interact. And then eventually she meets her own mate. And eventually like six months later, they fly off together. And so it's, it's like without, he could have easily just been a dog and left her there or eaten her. <laughs> you know, anybody, anybody who observes ducks in the wild know it's really hard for a duckling to survive, but they have so many predators and so many things getting them every day. But his heart was so big as a dog that he saved this duck. And I just think there's a lot to talk about in that, you know, helping people, helping any living soul, even if they're different from us, even if they seem too broken, too far gone to in need, even if we don't know what to do, we can do something. Oh my gosh. Pull the book up again. Pull the book up again. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So it, I, it's in hardcover, it's in paperback, and it's also in ebook. And, and where, it comes out Tuesday. Where out, we, okay, Tuesday, March 21st. Uh, okay, so it's already at the time we yeah. will um it is. This, it is already out. So you do not Perfect. have to wait. You do not have no to, to wait. You can and where Stop can you get it? Video. You can get it anywhere. It's available online at booksellers everywhere. I, this has been a really soft launch. I'm not doing author events. I'm not doing any kind of big promos or anything like that. Again, this has just been a passion project. My husband took most of the photos. We've got the author bios in the back are our pets. I'll show you. I mean, it's just <laughs> a fun, sweet project. But I hope that it just brings, uh, look at their little author photo pictures. Oh, okay, the dog, the duck, and the cat. <laughs> Um, I just want, you know, to add a little joy to the world. And if we can do that, then mission accomplished, you know. But yeah, you can go online, search any bookstore, ask your librarian to carry them, give them to your friends, bring them to your teachers, classrooms, story times. Three to six-year-olds is the target audience, but, you know, lots of people are enjoying the sweet story. So thank y'all. Of course, we're so glad to have you with <laughs> us. And honestly, I have three, three to six-year-olds that are in my mind right now who I love, who love yeah. animals. And I'm thinking, oh, they need this book. Oh, so, yay. Thank you. <laughs> everybody, everyone watching, there must be someone in your life who would enjoy this, a three to six-year-old mm -hmm. reader. Um, and it has all the wonderful things that Julie was saying. So true story, heartwarming, happy ending, great photos, really good for kids. But also, frankly, I'm going to read it because <laughs> that's good for us. Yes, dog and duck, and I want to read their story. So it's not just for kids. You can also enjoy it as an adult. Julie, we're going to end by asking you the one question we ask every author, and that is, what is bringing you joy today? Oh, I can never narrow that down to one answer. I just, so I can say three things if you want. <laughs> I just Enjoy love joy. life. Okay, my dog, my cat, and my husband, but honestly, just life in general. I just, you know, I think we've all been through enough hurts and downtimes in life, no matter what it is that you learn to just savor every second of goodness that comes your way and just live in a constant flow of gratitude. So everything brings me joy, truly. And I'm so grateful. <laughs> and that's why we love talking to you, Julie, because you're a wonderful, uplifting and charming person. And we are so excited about Dog Saves Doc. And Thank you. a little bird told me that you are working on something else. I am finally, after a few years of, well, quite a few years of pushing away my fiction work, I'm working on a new novel and it's a new one for me, very historical. So I'm very excited about it. And it's something I've been wanting to write for about 10 or 15 years and I'm finally doing it. 
So I can't wait. I'm keeping it real close to the heart right now, but I can't wait to share it with y'all when I have more to share. Oh, we will so we will look forward to that. Back on and share. <laughs> yes, we'll look forward. And in the meantime, we will amuse ourselves by reading Dog Saves Dog and giving it to all the three to six year olds in our lives. Thank you, Julie Cantrell, for being with us and sharing about Dog Saves Duck. And everybody else, join us next week for more 10-minute book talk fun. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>